Well, it's um, December the 12th, 2022, and we're making a batch of sauerkraut. We started with about um, five and a half, almost six pounds of uh, shredded cabbage. It's almost too much for this bottle. Got a little shredded carrot and some caraway seeds in there just for variety. The two essential ingredients are cabbage and unidized salt. This might be sea salt or kosher salt. We've got several varieties of unidized salt. The only time we've ever had a bad batch of sauerkraut was when I tried to make it without salt. That just rotted. That did not work. What I'm doing right now, okay, we shredded this at about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. It's now eight o'clock, so it was sitting for three or four hours. See, I only used a half a teaspoon of salt per pound of cabbage, and that's a little on the low side. So that's why I had to wait a little longer to get the, for the juice to come out. Now why am I pushing it down like this is because it accelerates bringing out the juice and I want it as low in the bottle as it can to begin with. And once I put these uh, Luna crock weights on it, should hold it below the brine. And we'll let it sit for eight days or so. I mean, it's kind of cool right now, temperature wise, so. I don't think it'll be ready in seven days. I'm not going to open it up and try eating it in seven days. I'm going to try in eight or nine days. And whatever it, however it turns out, I'm sure it'll be edible. As I say, the only time we've had a bad batch was when I tried to make it without salt. Salt draws out the juice and discourages yeasts and other forms of bad bacteria that you do not want. Now, is any of this stuff sterilized, you might ask? And the answer is no. When we first started making sauerkraut over 10 or 12 years ago, we used to really sterilize and really wash our bottles and stuff like that. Somewhere along the line, we just gave up on that. Now, I don't see a lot of juice down in there. But there's enough. So I'm going to put these crock weights in there. If you don't have crock weights, you're going to have to use a plastic bag, a freezer grade plastic bag full of water, or something to hold down the sauerkraut below the top of the liquid. Any of the sauerkraut or any of the cabbage that uh, ends up above the top of the juice will get uh, bad. Will it'll uh, it'll rot. It turn get discolored, you won't want to eat it. But that doesn't make the rest of the bottle. Now the thing is, I did not, I want to emphasize this, I did not add any water to this. I did not put any starter in this. This is just plain cabbage and salt. 
a little carrots and caraway just for variety. Believe me, it make great sauerkraut without cabbage. I mean, with, without cabbage, without a carrot and caraway. Just you must have cabbage. You can also, while there's some substitutes for cabbage, you can use a daikon radish. Dice daikon radish. That makes a good sour vegetable. I'm having a little trouble getting these pieces down in there under the crock weights. I'm just going to let it go and I'll have to scrape those off and throw them away at the end of the process. Maybe I'll take some out right now and eat it. The ones that are up above there are going to be waste anyway. So I don't know. It's a real simple process. It's kind of magic. The way that thing um, draws the juice out of there. One other thing I'm going to do is step over here, grab me a lid, put it on there so it doesn't smell up the kitchen as much for the next eight or nine days. And so that you don't get a lot of air exchange, gases exchange between the airspace at the top of the bottle and the outside air. You really don't want that. Wow. So that's it. I'm going to put a label Juan, on it. Juan mentioned the bowl, but. Huh? Juan mentioned the bowl. It's, it's yeah, a... I'll leave it in this bowl in case there's any overflow. And I'll put a label on it that says Monday night, 8.30, and that way I'll know when we started it. So, good luck making sauerkraut.